Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is going to be the next part of our creating a watch stand and we're going to take our little spring-loaded watch holder here and we're going to turn it into a stand. So let's just get right into it. And I want to, going to want an angle, something about like that. I think I'll work with it in this orientation. Let's hide component 2 for right now. Oops. I want component 2, but I want component 2 down here. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a sketch on this surface and what I need to do is I need a line down here because I'm going to start with my plate down below so let's create a sketch on this surface and let's rotate it around whoops that's the wrong side of it let's rotate it around like that sorry about that if that come on grab that in a bad bad spot there we go man sometimes I have a tough time with the um, rotation in this I think it's mainly my fault. I'm just grabbing it, uh, grabbing it in a bad spot. So now that we have it around there and a sketch, I want to sketch a line. So I'm going to hit line and I'm just going to draw. But well, you know what? I want my angle back in it, don't I? Let's get my angle back in it. I want it about like that, I think. Yeah, about like that. Let's put my line down here. I want a line down here someplace. I don't really care what the, how long it is or anything else. And first thing I want to do is I want to dimension this line. So, oops, not fill it. Dimension. So I'm going to click my line and I'm going to click here. And I made a parameter for this called base height from center. And enter. And now what I want to do is I want to create a plane at an angle. So I'm going to come to Construct Plane at an Angle. It asks me what line I want. I want the one I just created. And I want it to be 90 degrees. 90. And OK. And now I'm going to get rid of my line because I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to come back into my sketch. Edit Sketch. And I'm just going to get rid of my line. OK. So Stop Sketch. And now I have the plane that I'm going to draw my base on. So let's create a sketch on that plane. And I'm going to create a rectangle. And we're going to dimension it so I'm really not that concerned right now about where things are. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to move this line against this edge of the material, which is also the center of the of the sketch. So I clicked on it, I'm going to click Constraint, and I'm going to click my center. And that should, there we go, that should move that line in with that edge. The next thing I want to do is I want to move this edge, this line in with this edge of the material. So I'm going to hit D for dimension again. <clears throat> I'm going to click on that line. And you know what, I'm just going to click on my center, and I'm going to call this part thickness part thickness. There we go. Enter. And that will make it the same thickness as the part. And that's where I'm going to go with to start. So what I want to do now is I want to make this dimension here. And I actually made a dimension for this. And I called it base length, I believe. Base length right there. And enter. Alright, now what I need to do is get this about in the center where I want it. So to do that, I am going to dimension either one of these sides, it doesn't matter, to the center. And I'm going to call that base length divided by 2. OK. There we go. Let's get this back kind of sort of in the center of the screen. And let's extrude this up. So I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to click on this. And it's going to have to be a negative number. That's OK. And we are going to call this base, whoops, base thickness. And I have to add a negative into it or it's going to go the wrong way. Not that it would matter really, but um, I want it to go that way. So there's that. Now, probably a number of different ways to do this. I probably use the loft tool to do this. But to be honest, it's just so simple doing it. This, just drawing a rectangular and rectangle and extruding it up. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sketch on my base plate I just created. And I'm going, oops, my view is off again. Perspective with ortho faces. And I am going to hit R for rectangle. 
and let's make a rectangle from here to here and I'm gonna call it base thickness and enter and now I'll hit E to extrude and I'm just going to extrude this up and I want to extrude it up until it's right at that inside curve and what's that going to be there's 50 there's 55 well, let's just try 53 53 well that looks pretty darn good and it's trying to make it a cut and we want to join and okay and well, that looks pretty darn good so let's go with that so let's trim some of the excess off so let's make a sketch on this surface and let's get it back up I grabbed it in a bad place again there we go let's get it back up now let's sketch an arc a three-point arc and we're gonna go from this point right here to this point right here I think and I'm just gonna take a wild stab at this I'm not trying to make anything perfect and I mean there is no perfect here because we're starting from scratch and I think that looks good let's do that let's get rid of that excess material E to extrude I want this gone and I want that gone and I'm gonna go this way with it to get a cut and I am gonna say distance all and okay all right so there it is this we're pretty much done with it at this point all we got to do is go over and print it and um, before I go I just want to show you something I just noticed and that is this base is a separate body and I kind of expected that but um, I didn't know it was going to do it so if I were to just export this let's turn this bo extra body you know, this is body here body what's it called body 11 this body here is not part of our component 1.1 if I were to hide it, if I were to take it, if I were to export our component 1.1 colon 1 out now, I'd get this. And that's no bueno. So what I want to do before I go is I want to take this body 11 and I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. Not going to do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. So this now has to be part of so that body there is gone so now this is part of our component one colon one so now when I export colon one component one colon one as an STL file I'll get this whole thing let's turn our top component back on so that's what this is going to look like and just for sport and amusement let's animate our joint so that's what this thing's going to look like this is going to be the the watch stand and we're going to use once again we're going to use the holder to also be a um, a storage box and a a winder so I'm gonna go print this out and I'm gonna come right back and I will show it to you when we're done okay I'm back and it is printed out as you can see I printed the the new design part out in the purple just because I had enough left over to do it with and I had run out of this bronze and um, yeah, it worked out really well printed nicely has the same beautiful spring action let's put my watch on it this is my Seiko Sports 200 let's slide that over it um, expanded out nice and there we go there you have it so this is the first part of my um, of what I hope to be three pieces a watch stand a storage box and a winder and um, remember this is a remix from this part here I'm gonna put this on Thingiverse it will have the remix the, the part in there that I remixed it from and if you download this part from Thingiverse it should fit from a about a seven and a quarter up to about an eight and a half inch wrist you can see with my eight inch wrist I'm right about in the middle of it and you can probably scale it a little bit and it will be okay but if you go more than a couple of couple of percentage points in either direction you may have to redesign the spring post or find a different spring to fit and um that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and hit notifications and um use my gear best links below if you need anything from them and thank you so much for those of you who have I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and that is it for now, and I will catch you next time. Bye.